excuse me, gotta get by. Move through the crowd, mouth kinda dry. Boy, tender, don't take too long. Cause I gotta get back before they play my song. But why I gotta be so hard? I'm just trying to get to the bar. Hi. Hey. I'm looking for Joe and Ashley. I'm Ashley. Oh, nice Joe is right there. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> When we got to the bar, I had to go find the owner, so I left Dan to hang out with Riley. Hey, okay. What's up? All right, yeah. So, um, where do we begin? <laughs> be easy, to, easy to lose you back here. Um, so, how do you think you can reach these? You guys got a stool? I do. We definitely okay. have a stool. <laughs> that, that might be necessary. I was invited to be a bartender at this charity event because we know the brewery. And I connect to the cause that we're donating to because not only is it a brain injury in some sense, and I had brain cancer, but it's a child battle. And it's not fair for a child's childhood to be taken away from them because they get sick or they get hurt. Let's give this a try. Okay. Perfect. 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 There we go. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> when she first came behind the bar, we were like, Oof, we need a solution. She can't reach the tabs. <laughs> Putting her on a stool definitely helped. Um, right away, she couldn't reach most of the stuff. Without the stool, I'd probably have to put like a little bell on her, <laughs> something just to hear. Have you ever poured a beer before? I have not. The key okay. is holding it at a 45 degree angle like this. Then you can give it a straighten out and pour right down the middle and then it should form a nice head. <laughs> I hate that. It's not a nice term. No, it's not. You want to do a practice round? Sure. <laughs> so you're gonna open it all the way. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Perfect. Is this okay for the amount of foam? That's beautiful. Now shut it. Perfect. Could that have done it better a myself. Perfect beer. <laughs> you're hired, and uh, <laughs> you can't take holidays off. Okay. And um, yeah, That's sometimes fine. we're here late. That's fine. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Thank you. We're gonna pour a man a wild thing here. Oh, and the gentleman Joe. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Fresh mango by Shauna. Do you want to do a sugar rim on the pumpkin? Yes. Now to complete it, can you pass it through? Have a good one. Bring the stool. There were a couple customers that I heard that thought, oh, how cute. Like, who is that? We're like, well, she's 23. <laughs> there was a couple comments here and there about my size or my childlikeness, but I completely ignored them. I think my coworkers for the day did a good job of trying to ignore them. Before you all close out, would you like to tip all the tips go to a child with a traumatic brain injury? Thank you. What I noticed is that the bartender, Shauna, needed some help getting up to the taps to serve us. I would say the bartender looked maybe about 10. She looks maybe 10, 12 years old. She's adorable, beautiful, big eyes, great personality. Perfect. Sweet. You're a natural. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I, you. I have you here all the time. <laughs> How's Hi, things Thomas. going? Good, how are you? Good. Enjoying. See, you already got your beer. Yes, I have to get my beer. Gotta get a beer. Thomas and I did go on a date, but since then we decided to remain friends. Which one did you get? I got the Gentleman Joe. Is it hot. good? I haven't tasted it yet. <laughs> See, you have to taste it. And? Tastes like a coffee. I mean, Joe, coffee, I, I would assume. Is it better than the one at the brunch? No. No. I will never drink that cheap beer in my life. <laughs> All right, I got no beer you gotta try. That's, that's a little bit more expensive. I got a whole row of beers you gotta try. I invited Tommy fully letting him know that there was going to be someone else there that I've went on dates with. I'm not doing that today. I, samples. Maybe. I let Dan know that I had gone on a date with Tommy. It's not my fault if they have an issue. See you in a bit? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Tonight, my band's playing at a local brewery, and we're hopefully going to raise a lot of money for charity. What can we get for you guys? Uh, what do you recommend? What does Shauna recommend? You drink, like, crap beer. Crap, well, British beer. <laughs> no, you, put, you, you drink the one with the lime in it, like, ugh. That was one time. The Sound Avenue Summer. Plus Blondale, the best. Yeah. 
Well, okay. I think you would like it. It's a baby beer, basically. <laughs> it's been decided. It's yep. already been poured. <laughs> Have yeah, fun. Bye. I don't think it's weird at all that two guys I've been on romantic dates with, in a sense, are at the same event. Tommy had fun and Dan had fun. They didn't have fun together. <laughs> no, I don't think any of their worlds collided, really. No. I, don't, I didn't see them. I saw them on well, opposite sides. Well, he said it opposite sides, yeah. What? What? So on your next break, would you like to dance? I don't dance. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I danced with you I last don't, week. No, you didn't dance with me. You danced next to me. That's the difference. Okay. <laughs> so we're not going to dance. <laughs> fine. No, no. It's... No, it's fine. I'll do it. OK. <laughs> if it's not too much of a chore. Hi, Dan. Hi. Dan, what's his name? Dan. Where is he from? Wales. Oh. I haven't actually really thought about if Dan and I were in a relationship and how that would look. I assume that we would probably try a long distance, but I've been in a long distance relationship. It's not my cup of tea. Um, so either he would have to find a settled down place or I would have to either start traveling with him or do something. How did you guys meet? He messaged me on social media. Like okay. He messaged me and then sent me flowers. Wow. Yeah. OK. So did he just come here to uh, get Visit? to know you? Yeah, I think I'm the main reason. It sounds like it. Yeah. I think so. That's I don't, I don't know many people that are from other countries that just come to Long Island. <laughs> right? Do you think you'll go visit him in uh, Wales? He wants to take me to Malaysia for a wedding. So. Oh, yeah. OK. That's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> when is that wedding? February. This February, I think so. Dan taking Sean out of the country, I think it'd be really cool. I think she'd have a good time. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know if I'd be as concerned if Shauna went on a trip with Dan because she's with Dan. I mean, I think that the first thing he would do is protect Shauna. And by the time I believe that they would actually do something like that, we would know him better and be more comfortable. My thoughts on all of this are they're bold-faced liars. They probably wouldn't let me do it if it actually happened. They can talk about the imaginative situation, but this woman would not let me go anywhere, like across the country, unless she had me like under a microscope almost. You want to dance? What's the light that she got? Summer. Summer. I'll be back. <laughs> This will be the last time I see Dan for a bit, and I am sad to see Dan go, but hopefully I can go traveling abroad with him. This is next song. The next is song. I think Nye is a better dancer. I wasn't going to say that. You he know doesn't know also... what to do with his feet. No. Move them. He doesn't. Did you feel uncomfortable when you were dancing with him? I feel uncomfortable dancing. He's so better than Jesse. It's not what I asked. Well, I am telling you whether, like, I felt uncomfortable, whether I don't know if it was because of him or because of just the dancing. I felt uncomfortable dancing. She just answered, not because of him. Dancing. Look at that. It wasn't him. He's, He's a, a good winner. dancer, I guess. <laughs> we got the answer. <laughs> Hi, I think we need to work on our dance moves. I think you need to take some lessons. OK. <laughs> um, I don't like New York, um, but Long Island I've grown to love over the last uh, few days, and uh, spending time with you as well. And I'm excited to come back, hopefully, if you invite me, and uh, spend more time together. Should be fun. <laughs> It is extremely nice that Dan has traveled all this way to kind of just see me. And I am sure that I'll see Dan again. He's coming back. <laughs>